having a fab fabulous Christmas. Anyway, Carly Joe, welcome to the neighborhood. Rosemary Baker, not sure if you've been here before or not, so I like to play it safe. Welcome to the neighborhood. They sent us mail today. Rosemary Baker sent us mail today. I know. Nadine Hager, welcome to the neighborhood. Lisa Dodds, welcome to the neighborhood. And Lena Coogan, welcome to the neighborhood. Yep. Oh. Christopher, we need thoughts and prayers. These are all thoughts and prayers, guys. Yeah. Okay, Christopher Trade Show has a large neurofibroma in his right so eye socket. He has to go for an MRI on January 4th and then see a plastic surgeon for a consult to see if some of it or all of it can be removed. So, thoughts and prayers for Christopher Trade Show. Elena Gibson, thoughts and prayers for her boss, Anita's partner, Barry, who lost his mother on Saturday night. Oh. So, very sorry to hear that. It's always hard to lose somebody, but it's even harder to lose somebody around the holidays. Yeah. So our thoughts and prayers go out to you, um, Barry, and your family. Jerry Colburn, thoughts and prayers for the loss of her uncle Charles Bailey, passed away on the 16th. Please keep his entire family in your thoughts and prayers. Um, like I said, it's always difficult to lose somebody, but definitely makes it even more difficult around the holidays. And update on Megan and Brian. Um, they are both doing much better. They're still a little sore and stiff, but basically they got bumped up and bruised. Um, we do have some pictures of the car now, so we'll insert some pictures of the car. So thank you for your thoughts and prayers for Megan and Brian as well. Okay, my last week's question was, what is your favorite Christmas carol, and what is the Christmas carol that drives you insane? Okay. Angie on YouTube, favorite carol of the bells. One that drives her insane, I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus. I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus underneath the mistletoe last night. Callie Baby Mama, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And she doesn't have any that drive her crazy. She loves, loves all Christmas music. Destiny Swan, Silent Night, and she also doesn't have any that drive her crazy. Terry Johnson, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas by Judy Garland. And she didn't give us uh, one that she dislikes. Pyronation, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Really? his favorite. All right. Crimson Fairy. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Have a holly jolly Christmas. By Burl Ives. Who's sitting on my head right now. And she didn't give us one that drives her crazy. Tanya Longley cheated a little. She gave us four favorites. Away in the Manger. Jingle Bell Rock, Christmas in the Sand. Never heard of that one. Mela Kaliki Maka is the thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. Okay. Okay, then we had a lot of people saying White Christmas is one of their favorites by Bing Crosby. I happen to agree. Then we had 
half of the people saying this song was their favorite, half of the people saying they, they can't stand it, which is Mariah's Carry All I Want for Christmas is You. It's not a bad song. I mean, it's overplayed. Yeah. But then Lord Guerno actually said something that made a lot of sense to me. He says, Jingle Bells, which is a classic Christmas song, is too favored, simple, and overused. So, when was the last time they actually came out with a new Christmas song? Well, something that actually clicked, um, because I think... I think Christmas songs come out a lot, but none of it really clicks. Probably Mariah Carey's album. What was yeah. that down in the 90s? Yeah. Yeah. So. I don't know. And most of the times, they're just remakes of old songs. They don't have a new song. Nothing new. So, what is your favorite Christmas song? Um, uh, as a performer, I always liked uh, Carol of the Bells. There's an interesting history. It's Ukrainian. So, uh, yeah, it's a really neat song. My one I hate the most, I don't know if, um, if you've heard of it. I've probably heard it a million times because they play it on the radio constantly. It's uh, Let's Have a Little Christmas. It's from a musical called Mame, and it's not a Christmas song, and it drives me nuts. And I think the one that um, um, last year when I was at... at Working, it played it constantly. Is that what? Yes, we need a little Have Christmas. Have a little Christmas. Da, 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 da. It's not even a Christmas song. The song is a bunch of people who just lost everything. We're all depressed, and so they decided, well, let's pull out the Christmas stuff and just have Christmas now. So it's we need a little Christmas right this very minute. Yeah. Okay. So. so. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite happens to be Bing Crosby's White Christmas. And I'm sorry, Angie, but I happen to like I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. Sorry. Um, the one that I dislike the most is... And, and, Probably everybody's going to be like, what? what? The Little Drummer Boy. What? It's an annoying song. So, sorry. Okay, so that's that. My question for today. What is different about this year's Christmas Eve and Christmas Day weather-wise? than previous years. Like in New Hampshire, for example, today it was in the 70s. And they usually have white Christmases. It was in the 70s. It's usually in the 70s here. Yeah. So nothing so, really changed here. Nothing ever changes here. <laughs> How drastically has the weather changed over the years? In your neck of the woods. In your neck of the woods. So. There's your question. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Beep, beep. Okay, uh, last week's question, uh, people seem to like that one. A lot of people did some serious research, uh, including Destiny Swan and uh, Terry Johnson went, went to town on research. Um, the original uh, Black Christmas uh, didn't actually have a character Billy. Billy was a voice. It was a hand. It was mostly a point of view shot by the cameraman. But he he does appear in the movie. There is two murders in the movie where somebody actually is in the shot. There is uh, a, a lot of scenes with hands. Uh, all the voices on the telephone, which was done in post-production, um, is is um, is considered to be voice actors for the character. So um, there was three people who played voice work. Uh, some of it was on the phone. Some of it was in the film. It was mostly Bob Clark and Nick Mancuso who played the voice. There was an unknown woman who did some voice work for the phone calls. 
Um, nobody remembers who did it. Wow. And they didn't give people credit back then for certain yeah, things. Yeah, so just for the small parts, it's hard to find out who did it. Um, the most of it was done by the cameraman, and his name was Albert Dunk. And if you look on uh, in the database, the film database, he he is listed as uncredited uh, Billy. However, they also list voices as a menacing voice, which is basically the same person. However, there's a scene where you see the, uh, Billy's eyes, and nobody remembers who did that. It could have been any of the, uh, it could have been Dunk, it could have been um, the director, sometimes you see that director sticks himself in there. But no one remembers, or no one admits to it, which is uh, another thing. So, four, maybe five people play Billy, depending on how you look at it. Okay, so tonight's movie uh, trivia question has to do with a movie from 2012 called Silent Night, which is basically a remake of the original Silent Night, Deadly Night, but with a twist. It has it stars Malcolm McDowell from um, the, Hollow, the remake of the Halloween series. So a lot of people in this from remakes. And, um, but it also has an element of, tr of a true story which happened around 2008, 2009. Um, what was that? What, what inspired this movie besides the uh, Silent Night, Dead of Night? Dun, dun, dun. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all. Ah, look, a normal heart. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all the other stuff we do. And we will see you guys next week. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Wait! Oh, yeah.